Yuto the Necromancer by Studio Mike. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Turned out to be the best idea I ever had. You see, George, a.k.a. the Hellhound, a.k.a. the dog who got me sued for a million dollars, got very sick in 2022. And no matter what I tried, be it medicine, CBD oil, or any medical food I could get my hands on, nothing would fix him. He went from a muscular 70-pound black shepherd cross to a skeletal mess in the span of a couple months. His visit with the vet had been pointless, as even under heavy sedation, George still wouldn't let the vet anywhere near him, and our vet could only take the info I gave him and make an educated guess. It wasn't right, and George wasted away right before my very eyes. He became visibly depressed, lacked energy, and his appetite decreased as he got sicker. Nothing made him better. Our relationship began to crumble under the emotional toll that his failing health had taken on us, on our life together. It was around this time that I began to work with the dogs in animal care at the HBSPCA. Boy, was I lucky to get a job there, but I digress. I live in a very dangerous part of Hamilton. In fact, it's the most dangerous part. I found dead bodies, witnessed violence, been threatened repeatedly, and despite having two jobs, it's still all I can afford. I need a dog, and rest assured, even at George's sickest, he could still protect me from the people of this neighborhood. Even sickness couldn't take the crazy out of him. Despite being the sweetest dog to me, and the people who loved him as a pup, he is generally reactive to all living creatures, and it scares people. This is good when being threatened by criminals. Not so great when bringing home a date. We had a couple nights where I said goodnight, thinking he wasn't going to make it to the morning. At this point, I began to ponder the dreaded quality of life question. Was he living a good life? Would he be better off not being alive? I didn't want to lose him, but what was best for him was all that mattered. I kept giving it one more week. One more week. Around this time, a mama dog and her ten puppies came into our care. We set them up in a room where they could be alone and she could nurse the pups in relative quiet. The mama dog, we called her Moki. She was an amazing dog, sweet, lovable, smart, and a great mama to her pack. It did occur to me that if George were to pass on, Moki would be in the running to fill the huge void in my heart that would occur upon his passing. But he continued to live, and I kept wishing that one day I'd figure things out and he'd get well again. Then I had an idea that not only changed my life for the better, it literally saved his life. How do I put this nicely? George has a taste for the ladies. Not sure where he got that from, just kidding. Like my ex used to say, he got that and his big nose from me. And that's why she's the ex. I had the idea that if I fostered a couple female pups, George would be more likely to not massacre them. And if one of them stole our hearts, we'd keep that one. And that's exactly what happened. I called her Yuto, an homage to the professional skateboarder, Yuto Horigomi. By bringing a joyful, goofy pup into our lives, it brightened our home up. And George no longer could just lay around and waste away as a puppy jumped up and down on his head. The wrestling started as nothing more than Yuto jumping on him and him playfully trying to bite her. The wrestling matches are a perfect allegory for the recovery of George. It started with Yuto doing all the hard lifting, and George doing not much more than tolerating her. If he stood up, Yuto would knock him on his butt, and for a dog used to being the biggest badass in the room, this must not have sat well with him, because soon enough, he was fighting back, and through all this wrestling, he began to get his strength back. Now, this didn't cure what ailed him, it just gave him a reason to live, and bought me more time to try and fix him. By 2023, I was no longer concerned about George passing. Mentally, he was back to being himself, for better or worse, but he looked like a walking skeleton. Would I ever find something that would fix him? The answer came in the form of a low-fat gastrointestinal dog food. By chance, I grabbed the right bag of food, because within a day or two of switching him to his new diet, his poop improved. This had happened before, 
and the positive effects of the new dog food tended to wear off within a day or two, and then we'd be right back to where we started. Not this time. The food continued to work for a week, which turned to weeks, and I finally started telling people, I think we finally did it. I think we fixed him. Almost a year to her gotcha day, George and Yuto wrestle every day. But now they chase in the park and beat each other senselessly, loving every minute of it. George is living his best life. George is back, baby! He was brought back to life by the magic of Yuto the Necromancer, and kept alive thanks to a proper diet. Today, as I fixed holes in the wall, thanks to those two dummies, I felt like the luckiest person in the world. For like, two seconds. <laughs>